Apple shocked the world and investors got nothing. We're going to dive into the numbers from yesterday. I'm also going to show you three stocks that I think are much better investments right now on a purely technical basis. I'm going to show you the tickers. I'm not going to hide anything from you in this video. Just give you a few ideas for some small caps that are on the move. So let's dive into the numbers. Apple reported absolutely blowout earnings this week, okay? This company, iPhone sales were up 65%. Mac sales up 70%. iPad sales up 79%. Look at these numbers. Blew away. Earnings per share, they were estimated to make a dollar, made a dollar 40. 90 billion versus 70 billion. I mean, every single metric Apple absolutely demolished for a total sales growth of 54% versus a year higher. Folks, I know we get inundated with these big numbers, but think about this. This is a two trillion dollar company and they grew sales by 54 percent i didn't even know that was possible it is an absolute blowout on every metric so how did the market reward investors the stock went down that's right it actually went down yesterday it gapped up a little bit but as you can see finished the day down and closed lower than it was the previous session you can't make this stuff up and it's one more reason to just Totally ignore fundamentals because the market no longer cares about them. Here we have the greatest profit machine in the history of the planet. And after its best quarter in almost a decade, the stock goes lower. So let's take a look at a couple of alternatives. I'm going to show you a few stocks I like right now on a purely technical basis. All right, let's start with Tenet Healthcare, ticker symbol THC. Now, this stock has been grinding higher for quite some time. Notice the stocks run from around $20 to around $60. Well, it recently just broke through kind of a key pivot area right up here as it broke through this double top. And it did so, as you can see down here in the bottom, on a surge in volume. So this one, I'm looking for a potential move up to maybe the $75 area. Next is Avid Bioservices, ticker symbol CDMO. Now, this stock got a pretty clear resistance level. That was an accident. Pretty clear resistance level right up here where it's trading. And you'll notice that we are kind of stalling right up here near the top. So see this kind of resistance level right, right here on the $22 mark. And then notice how the last few days, how quiet this stock has gotten. And then you look down here at the volume, and it's just going down and down. Well, I think he's getting in the way. The volume is getting lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. That's generally sign of a sign of kind of the stock coiling in a compressing matter. So what I'd be looking for with CDMO is a break above the $22 mark. I want to see it done on a high volume bar. I want to see significant volume, and I want to see it break out and close above that $22 level. So one more to keep on your radar. And then finally, a stock called PGT Innovations. PGTI is the ticker symbol. We've got a really textbook cup and handle pattern here that we've just broken out of. If you see, let me zoom in just a bit on this. You'll see what I'm talking about. There's the 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 or cup and handle, cup and salt, however you want to look at it, but the cup and the handle, we broken out here right around 26 bucks. So we'd be looking for the height of this cup for the move higher. So you got a, roughly about a $3 move you're looking for to the upside. You don't have to risk a lot. I'd probably run a stop here right around 26, maybe 25, 75, risk a dollar, dollar and a quarter, try to make three. You could also play this one with options for a much better percentage return. So that's just a couple of stocks I'm looking at right now. Again, Apple shocks the world. Investors get nothing. We actually hold Apple. Luckily, we were already up. 13% on our position in precision volume alerts. I thought we would have another big move after the news yesterday. We didn't get it, so we're likely going to close those positions out. But if you want to learn how we got into Apple early and how we get into these trades at these high probability entry and exit points, the places that the stock is likely to reverse and peak and how we're able to get in with fairly tight stops from some of these, I want to tell you about my precision volume alert service, how I use volume as the only indicator and how I use it in a very different way than most others to identify those places where buyers and sellers can be found. And you've got a high likelihood of getting in near the lows and getting out near the highs. So if you want to learn about that, click the link below this video. I've got some on-demand trading. I'm going to tell you all about it, tell you about some stocks I like right now, and I'll show you how volume can make all the difference in your trading.